let's compute the expectation of a expectation of a by a binomial random variable. It's a good example of a discrete random variable. And uh, I haven't done this for a while, maybe a year or so, so we'll figure out how to do this. So a binomial random variable, we write x is binomial, or maybe just bin for binomial, with parameters n alpha, sometimes we'll put p here, for so alpha would be the probability that, uh, well, it is a probability, and you can interpret a binomial random variable, right, so let me say, so alpha is some number between 0 and 1, and n is a positive integer, 1, 2, 3, etc. So a binomial random variable can be interpreted as the number of, so if I have a coin, I have a coin, and I flip it, say, six times. So if n is six, so n is the number of times I'm going to flip the coin. So say say n is six, and I flip it six times. And alpha, say alpha is the probability of getting heads on any one of those flips. So if this one's heads and this one's heads, so then x is the number of heads that I get. So in this case, if it, that was heads and that was heads and all the others were tails, then x would be 2. So it's the number of heads that you get in n coin flips. And as I was about to start doing this video, I remembered a nice trick for computing this expectation, which is uh, that you can interpret, it's based on the, the fact that you can interpret this this 2 here, so in this case, right, it's as a sum of Bernoulli random variables. So if this was tails, or well, no, I said heads, right? Heads, tails, heads, tails, tails, tails. Each of these coin flips can be interpreted as a Bernoulli random variable with probability alpha. So that would be 0, 0, 0, and you sum up the results of all those Bernoullis and you get a binomial random variable. So x equals the sum from i, i, I goes from 1 to n, of let's call them xi, where xi, each xi, is a Bernoulli random variable. Sometimes we just write burn or b for Bernoulli uh, with parameter alpha. So if we were just going to directly compute the expectation, right, by definition, the expectation is the, well, the definition is that it's the sum over all the values that x takes. So x in this case, uh, oh, I, I should have written the, I forgot to write the, the PMF. So the PMF of a binomial random variable, by definition, is n choose k times alpha to the k times 1 minus alpha to the n minus k. So you can always remember the exponents because they have to sum up to n. And this is the binomial coefficient. So the expected value, by definition, is the sum. So k here, uh, and this is for k ranging over the values that x can take, which is from 0 to n. So k goes from 0 to n, k times the probability that x is k. So we could compute it, we could try to compute it directly, but it turns out that there's a wonderful little trick, fantastic way to compute uh, expectations uh, using the the linearity property of expectation. If you can write a, a random variable as a sum of some other random variables, like we can here, fortunately, then using the linearity of expectation, let me go back to our green here, so 
dx using this formula equals the sum, the expected value of the sum, and since expectation is linear, we get the sum of the expectations, and we computed in another video that the expected value of a Bernoulli random variable, it's easy to compute, it's just, it's 0 times p xi is 0 plus 1 times p xi is 1, and for Bernoulli, this is alpha, Bernoulli with parameter alpha, and that's 1 minus alpha, so these cancel, and you get alpha. So each of these is alpha. So we just get n times alpha. And that is the expected value of a binomial random variable. Let's try computing this directly also. Let's see what happens if we try that. I think this might be tricky. So if we take this formula, that's equal to, so this is equal to sum k from 0 to infinity k times this guy. So let's plug that in and stare at it for a bit and see if we can make sense of this. So the k will cancel so this is there's a k factorial in the denominator which will cancel but the nice thing about see the nice thing about a Bernoulli PMF is that it arises from the binomial theorem so the um, so the and that's going to mess things up right so because the sum of the the just the PMF alone is this sum And the binomial theorem says that this is equal to, let's see, it's uh, 1 minus alpha plus alpha to the n. If you just multiply the, all these terms out, this is what you get. And of course, the alphas cancel here, and you just get 1 to the n, which is 1. So that, well, that verifies just the fact that the the PMF sums to, well not infinity, n sums to 1, but that's not going to work here. So it looks like, well, there's probably a way to do this. I'm not seeing it right now, but uh, uh, it looks like the rather than going this route, you're much better off taking the the shortcut and use this little trick here, and that gives you the expected value. So oftentimes there's more than one way to compute something, and uh, if you know if you can look at it in a slightly different way or use some different property, then you can you can compute what you're what you're what you're after.